So hi, I have been getting a lot of requests asking me about how to qualify GATE in 30 days. See, that is too low a goal that you should be aiming for. You should think about how I can get 90 marks, how I can get 95 marks. But then you are asking me how can I qualify GATE in one month. So what I did is, I have ma I've made a video, I'm making a video call how to get 50 marks in 30 days at least at least you can aim at it right at least aim for get, getting 50 marks so from all the subjects i have taken what are the topics that you should focus on so that you will get at least 550 marks here i am saying at least at least 50 marks so at least 50 marks in 30 days you will definitely get it if you say if you follow what i am going to say so first thing is aptitude. See, aptitude is the most scoring subject. So you should not leave out anything in aptitude. But in case if you say that you don't have time for aptitude, out of 40 topics, I have taken all these 11 topics, go through them. And the most important topic for aptitude is spatial aptitude, pattern recognition, visual, visual reasoning, like uh, mirrors and water images and paper folding, etc. So these are the most important topics coming to aptitude out of 40 i have given you only 11 you focus on this 11 you will get 50 marks not not only this there are other subjects other subjects also wait so english we don't have anything called uh, important topics in english just uh, go through all the pyqs as many as possible you go through all the pyqs and learn that will help you okay and coming to discrete mathematics, you have to focus on propositional logics and graphics, propositional logic and graphs. That is very important. Rank of a matrix, eigenvalues and eigenvectors. You will get few marks from that. And then algorithms, you don't have to focus on every algorithm. Focus on greedy, dynamic, divide and conquer, heap sort and master's theorem and hashing. And coming to data structures, you have to focus on pointers, strings, arrays, tag, Q, linked list, DFS, and BFS. And coming to operating system, operating system is a very easy subject where, anyway, this, this that is not the concept here. Here, I'm, I'm explaining you how you can get at least 50 marks in 30 days. Okay. So let's stick to that. I don't want to tell you that operating system is very easy. You, can, you have to focus on entire operating system. That's not the concept here. So what are the main topics? One is scheduling is important. CPU scheduling and this scheduling. You will get at least one marks from scheduling this. Either CPU scheduling or this scheduling. And then page replacement algorithms are important. And finding effective memory access is important. So all these topics I have taken from by analyzing all the previous year question papers. I and my team, we have analyzed all the previous year question papers. And from them, we have collected all these topics which are important. Okay. And then coming to computer networks, you have large scale addressing, sliding window protocol, uh, routing algorithms, ICMP, error detection correction, IP header and TCP header. Okay. There will definitely be one question on IP header and TCP header. If you by heart it, there will definitely be one question. Every time that was one question. Company design is very simple to subject. Again, that is not the intention here. What, what to focus on? Try finding out how to find out the number of tokens. Then LL1 or not is important question. Ambiguity of a graph of a grammar is important question. And CLR and SLR are important. Coming to TOC, TOC is a very scoring subject. You should not leave anything in TOC, but still, if you want 50 marks in 30 days, DFA, NFA, and conversions are important. Regular expression is important, and context free grammar properties are important. Decidability and undecidability are important, and pumping lemma for regular languages and context free uh, languages are important. And coming to digital logic, you have number system and conversion, which are important. Multiplexer and demultiplexer, which are important. Flip flops are important. Adders are important. K maps are important. And coming to computer organization, addressing modes are important. Associate memory, set associative memory is important. Pipelining, pipeline problems are important. And hazards are important. DMA. So basically, I have taught all these topics in, at a very high depth. So if you have attended all my classes once, you don't need this video at all. But you don't have time and you, you want me to say how to get 50 marks then. That is important. That is what we are doing here. And coming to DBMS, all these topics are important. Go through them. 
okay guys i am providing almost everything for free on my youtube channels all that i ask you is guys just please subscribe and tell your friends about this channel ask them to subscribe and comment something on the video so that the reach of the video will increase right so if you do that i'll be very grateful and i will be doing hell a lot of videos on the channel to help you out thank you guys